Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in a mod, or a demo for a mod, called Disaster Death of Peace. Now I'll let you know, if you'd like to check it out for yourself, this mod, the, it'll be in the link, first link in the description below. And you probably want to skip ahead about two minutes into the video because we're going to go ahead and read about Preussis, uh, Preussin Evoque. In the aftermath of the collapse of the Paris Peace Conference and the French occupation of the West Bank of the Rhine, the failure to defend the Rhineland from an invasion that blatantly violated the armistice was the last nail in the coffin for the already impoverished and chaotic Republic, and Ebert didn't bother resisting when reactionary Junkers, with the backing of the army and the Freikorps, marched into Berlin, creating a new regime under the righteous bureaucratic Wolfgang Kapp. However, the Putschists were hated by much of the population and lacked the resources to consolidate power across the country, and leftist uprisings broke out in much of Germany, cutting off the main Putschist forces in Prussia. In spite of this, separate Bavarian Freikorps units under Franz Ritter von Epp and Anton Graf von Arco of Valley, among others, uh, <clears throat> were able to restore a reactionary government under the conservative Gustav Kahr, and this regime proceeded to aid rightists in the neighboring states of Baden and Württemberg to restore their own monarchies. Although the Prussian regime celebrated this, hoping that the rioters in southern Germany would reunite with them, Kahr's strong regionalists proclaimed an independent Bavarian state instead, and the socialists managed to secure the grip over the northwest, and local Freikorps units in Mecklenburg and Saxony also asserted their independence, and the Danes occupied the Kiel Canal. Left with only Prussia, a broken cap was forced to resign by the very same aristocrats and officers who put him in power a, a matter of months. Since then, the subsequently proclaimed Prussian Republic has seen its politics dominated by the Junkers and their allies, with many accusing the state of operating a mere sham democracy, with the succession of chancellors all answering to and working with the same aristocratic cliques. However, the current chancellor, Kurt von Schleicher, is known to be more blatantly authoritarian, militaristic, and pro-worker than the Junkers, alongside his reputation for political intrigues. In opposition to the Junker government are the reformists of the National Liberal Party, which was re-established by Prussian liberals after initially falling apart after the collapse of the German Empire. Despite their staunch support for democracy, they also took a determined pan-Germanist stance dreaming of the day when all Germans are united under one flag. Meanwhile, the Junkers failed to either restore the Hohenzollern monarchy or make any effective moves to restore German prize, galvanized opposition, and on the right as well. Both Alfred Hugenberg's reactionary monarchist DNVP and the Altdeutsche National Partei, formed by Hermann von Goring after Kahr had him exiled from Bavaria for his pan-Germanism and extremism, are harsh critics of the status quo. What lies in store for the nation next? Let's begin with, with the only thing we can do, address the Reichstag. As the new year begins, it's time for the Chancellor von Schleicher, now entering his third year of rule, to prepare to speak to the Reichstag in an annual address on the state of the Republic and its proposed policies. Although it's unlikely that he will be entirely in control of what he will say, a successful speech is nonetheless anticipated, a sure sign of a stabilizing political uh, <clears throat> regime and scene. The caucus war is cool, and I'll be honest, I'm not dressed out at all, and it's, you know you have a good mod when you have Russian Civil War. Holy crap! He looks like a pe first of all. He looks like a penguin. I don't know why. Just like Penguin Man. He look just that stare. That's it's incredibly like stern and just like focused. Almost like too. Oh my gosh. Oh, Alexander Kerensky, are you gonna die? You look really like rectangular. Incredibly. Oh look how fast this mod moves. Oh I love it. Uh, not a good mod unless you got Kornilov. Very nice. You. Someone was bombed. Hello. South of Russia, Denikin. This is just like TNO Russia. I mean, Mikhail Tukhachevsky, he's got some chubby cheeks there. Russian state under Kolchak. We got the. Ah, Roman. But Schleicher addresses the Reichstag. Today, President Kirk von Schleicher spoke to the assembled Reichstag, inaugurating its annual session, promising the Prussian people the new rural investments and a calm, responsible government. As suits our nation, it was widely believed that Schleicher's speech was mostly written about Junker aides, representing the reactionary aristocrats who have all but controlled successive Prussian governments. And see, Schleicher is no different, something that he is understood to be deeply dissatisfied with, nonetheless. The speech was broadly well received, drawing reluctant applause even from the hardline nationalists and reformist liberals present, and praised by the for us, surely. If there's one thing we can count on, it's this very stable political scene. Very well. And best on the countryside. The countryside is nothing less than the heart and soul of the Prussian nation, containing all the excellent traditions and values that our government is founded upon, and of course being home to the Junkers' sprawling estates, and a source of their fortunes. By further investing in rural areas, we shall be able to further consolidate our political position and boost the economy, followed up with undermining Goring. Despite the apparent stabilization of the political scene with increased acceptance of Junker domination in politics, Hermann von Goring and the extreme nationalist ADNP continue to pose a potential threat to our government, in spite of factionalism within the party. It is thus time to task the Albert with finding new ways of subtly striking at these untrustworthy extremists. And there goes Ukraine and the Kievan War. Shackles of the dictate must be broken. Very cool. Also, there's a few other nations here that have unique focus trees. Um, one of the Turkish countries here, the Caliphate, <laughs> actually does under Omar Farouk I. Realm of Islam, fratricide. And they do have a unique focus tree, which is very cool. So we definitely got to play as uh, the Caliphate someday. 
All right, apparently there's going to be a scandal too, because it says, react to the scandal. What has seemed to be the most stable period in the Reich's or Republic's history now lies in ruins before us, chaotically shattered to pieces by the leaking of a report. Oh, as we can do little... Well, as we do what little we can to quell the protests and gradually rebuild our fragile coalition in the Reichstag in the aftermath of countless statues abandoning us for the DNVP or NLP, we should have to work out ex who exactly needs to take the blame for the chaos. <coughs> the Corruption Report For some time, corruption has been a rampant problem in the Prussian administration and to appease criticism from the opposition, Schleicher commissioned a report on corruption in the state in October 1935 today. The Finnish report reached Schleicher's desk and although we knew it wouldn't look bad, nobody was prepared for this. The report implicates all but the entirety of the Prussian state, laying bare the shaky apparatus of manipulation and intimidation that has propelled the Junkers favored candidates to successive election victories and exposing Schleicher's own unscrupulous methods. Until we find a way to wrap up this in safer terms for the public and resolve that the counties or countless disputes within the government that this will cause, most hope that it can stay secret. Let's uh get this um, wrapped up. And apparently we end France as Prussia. We're not that strong, I'll be honest. I don't think we're that strong. Deutsche Sphere, that's not bad. Europeische Coalition. Um huh. General Plan Oz, the report leaks. Today worse fears have come to pass. The corruption report in all its horrendous detail is published on the front page of Die Gartenlaube, Alfred Hugenberg's flagship newspaper. The country has already been thrown into chaos with the opposition, whether royalist, nationalist, or liberal, all pouring out into the streets, demanding not just Schleicher's resignation, but the outright end of Juncker rule in Prussia. Goring's blue shirt paramilitaries and liberal deputies alike are now baying for our blood. Uh, although we may never know who leaked the report, it is safe to say that the man has done more damage to our government than any other since 1919. While we scramble to find a response to the chaos, one thing is certain, Prussia will never be the same again. How do we let this happen? Nash revolutionary nationalism and autocracy. Oh, simmering dissent, discontent. Oh, that's not good. Empire China, Mao declares revolution. <sighs> Nothing like it. Cool. And so we have the national spirits, sham democracy. We've got political radicalization. And we've got widespread... Oh, God, that's not good. Protest. Oh. Gordler in charge. His career shattered by the scandal, Kurt von Schleicher has been forced out of power by the Junkers who have put in, put in his place. Karl Friedrich Gordler, a respected administrator and economist who, despite earlier links with the DNVP, has emerged as an admired moderate within the Car Caramilla. Hopefully, this change in leadership will prove to be a breath of fresh air for Prussia and allow us to return to a semblance of stability. We're attacking the ADNP. For years, Prussia's various governments have, behind the facade of democracy, employed a significant amount of manipulation and intimidation to keep the opposition firmly out of power, and now is no different. With him and Goring's Aldeutsche Nationalpartei rapidly gaining traction among disillusioned nationalists and young party officers, Schleicher's allies in the Abwehr have come to us with a pro new proposal to undermine these dangerous extremists. The national Bolshevik theorist Ernst Nikonish played a crucial role in the founding of the party, seeing the Prussian ethos as a more of the conventional nationalist, Goring as a shift in the right direction towards the nationalist and socialist Germany. Predictably, his left wing of the party has come into much conflict with the party's aristoc aristocratic and corporatist mainstream. As such, the Abwehr is suggesting that we meet in secret with Nikish's allies, there's still a greater dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction with Goring among the ADNP's left wing, nevertheless. Many Junkers are concerned that in strengthening Nikish, we may simply create another powerful mo opposition movement that will cause problems for us later on. It's not worth the effort. Uni socialism. Because there's a guy over there in uh, the greater parts of Western Germany that uh, have me very interested in uni socialism, but uh, hmm. Go ahead. Uh, why not? Why not? We'll try it. Schleicher has resigned, which they'll honestly probably do very soon, but hey, we'll see. Tata Union, Orenburg host. Oh, right. Uh, Dutov, Kolchak, Eurasian Union, and Stambag, of course. But what? Mongolian Expedition Force and Montgomery's all the way over there. All right. Trans by Kull Host, Semenyov, Premiorii Government. All right. Far Eastern Republic led by Alexander Kras. Yes. Oh, is that it? Is there anything else we can do here yet? Um, no, there's nothing we can do. Okay. We have Montetsu, the Junkers Ultimatum. With the protests enveloping Berlin, a number of prominent Junkers today met with Kurt von Schleicher, demanding they take responsibility for the corruption and step down, arguing that this can only preserve the Republic. They're proposing that Schleicher make way for Karl Friedrich Gordler, a Junker conservative from Saxony who found himself in Prussia amidst the chaos of 1919, and proceeded to build a significant career there, initially a member of the DNVP. He broke with the party over Hugenberg's radicalism, making him a trustworthy candidate in the eyes of the Junkers. However, Schleicher has been planning for some time to make his own move at consolidating power, forming a so-called Kehrfront, Queerfront, coalition of nationalist and pro-worker parties to oppose Goring and also free himself of Juncker control, and also bypass the Juncker's power. Perhaps this is his opportunity to do just that. For the sake of the Republic, I must resign. The Junkers can go to heck. I'm not sure what happens if you say no, but hey, it's all good, right? Yay! Call the paramilitaries. Ever since the scandal broke, Goring's blue shirt thugs, the DNVP Stahlhelm League, and liberal members of the Reichsbanner have 
together, engage in often bloody street fights, each hoping to seize opportunity of the political chaos so far. The police's efforts to maintain order have been ineffectual to say the least, but renewed imp impetus is vital if our government is to last. Well, that's okay. We can do with that one. And fight corruption. If we are to regain any facade of legitimacy, uh, we have to do some research first. My apologies. If we're going to gain any facade of legitimacy, we must deal with the issue that provoked the entire crisis, that of corruption, by relieving those worst implicated in the reports of their duties, and further investigating suspicious officials, we may be able to convince the public that we are not apathetic to the problem of corruption. Levantine War, ah oh, yes, the army of Zion, oh, hello there, oh, you say Zion, and now my interest is very piqued, Avram Stern, I think I've seen you before, Duel of the Fates, oh, I love it, oh, no, you need focus, tree. oh, the mandate collapses, oh boy, um, how about Jordan? Mikkel Aflak. Aflak? Like, Aflak, like the duck? Ali bin Hussein. These guys are led by Gabriel de Anuzio, which has no unique focus tree. Vagland has no unique focus tree. Spain led by some Miguel guy. Cool. Fight the corruption, because corruption is not cool here in Prussia. Fresh elections. With order slowly but surely returning, Gordler has resolved to announce a new snap election in order to ensure the government's mandate and discredit the resurgent opposition. Although Prussian elections have always been characterized by subtle but undeniable intimidation and manipulation of voters, this time it is unlikely to be much different, though, and but the scandal is still fresh in public memory, public memory and a favorable result is hardly guaranteed. And we'll have elections. Do we want elections? Are elections worth it? Do we like elections here? Let me know. Do we like elections? Is democracy cool or cringe? Let me know in the comments below. I already have an opinion, but I want to know what you guys are thinking. Democracy, yay or nay? Some free elections. How about paid elections? I don't want free elections. I want paid elections. Sham democracy. Ongoing protest. Well, what else is new? What is this? Post-industrialized society. So, the, I guess disaster mod, you know, it's like death of peace. What happens if no one wins World War One? What if we just wanted to kill each other and no one won after World War One? Head of government, anything else here? Vilbs? Not too much here. Hindenburg's proposal. Elections in Prussia have since the birth of the Republic. All but guaranteed victories for the Junker's favorite candidate. Though the liberal use of manipulation and intimidation. Today, Oscar von Hindenburg, a prominent member of the Kameralia, and son of the great field marshals, met with Gordeler to outline his proposals to do much of the same in the coming election, lest the radicals take advantage of the scandal to make significant gains. Although this would secure its ability to hold on to power and pursue our own goals, others feel that such a move will only spur on Goring and Hugenberg. Go ahead. Let's see what happens. So, do we get to choose? So, the Schleicher holds on, which we said no. I think we said no. I, I don't remember, I'll be honest. <laughs> My memory's so bad now. Um, there's Caucasus Islamic Brigade declared war. We have Goring. And that'd be cool to do. I might do them eventually, but I don't want to do them now since at the same time they're just recording, I'm playing Goring TNO. Hugenberg, NLP, Liberal Victory of the Junkers hold on, so. We'll see. The election. So today, the citizens of Prussia will go on to the polls again, this time in an election notably free of the conventional rigging and manipulation. As such, many are expecting a shakeup in the results, and potentially an unprecedented victory for the opposition. Although the people may still look to the Junkers for stability. Goring? Revolutionary nationalism. Slowly going up. Hugenberg. I kind of want to go Hugenberg. I've never played as a Hugenberg before. Oh, Hugenberg. Or Surgeon NLP sees off radical threats. Hmm... Now, it kind of depends, because with Hugenberg, we got to figure out to consolidate the new state, or general at plan Ost. Do we coalition, European coalition, or retake Alsace Terrain? Oh, I mean, technically we're going to go to war them anyways, but... Unify Germany, I like that one. March into the rivers. Deutschland über alles. Well, if we're going to go liberal, uh, we probably just do consolidate the state and do European coalition. I kind of want to try Hugenberg, because I don't think I've ever played as him yet, so... At least at the time of this reco uh, recording. So we get corporatism, or terms of consumer goods, which sucks, but we'll get more factory output, dockyard output. So let's try him. Let's try a big ol' Hugenberg daddy. We seize power against all odds. We must now move quickly to implement our politics before we're blocked no matter which way we turn. Now, use a Stahlhelm. The people seem to have gained the false idea that the future of the country is in their hands. If we use our might, we can quickly negate this. Political radicalization and ongoing protests. Political radicalization and ongoing protests. Yeah, you get like 70% of our political power. Establish a Habeza Franck. In order for us to save Germany, we have to unite all patriots and form a united front. This united front will be called the Hatzbrug Front and will encompass all patriots from all sides of the political spectrum to save Germany and restore its glory. Cool. And Ankara Kamala's force is declared war on the Zong Gulak Republic. All right. Well then. Azerbaijan Smiths to Enver. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound good for them. We lose political power. We get a lot more weekly stability, which I do like, so. 
Uh, let's do that one. Compromise with the Junkers. Prussia is bouncing on the edge of a blade and cannot risk political collapse now or ever. By reaching out to the Junkers, we can work to unify Prussia politically. Not bad. And right now we're building up some more civvies, which is okay. I want to restore all of Germany. Can we get Germany united, please? That's one really nice Yugoslavia. If they had more coasts, that'd be perfect, but still. It's alright. We got a lot of horse divisions, too, just to let you know. Um, honestly, I really don't care which way they go, so there you go. Cool. And... Uh, the Mountain Revolution. Orthodox Super Commies? Cool. Let's do Purge of Menace. The Red Menace. Communist leaders, or communist ideals, are... On Prussian, and a slap on the face to every dead man who fought for us. Where they crop up, they must be stamped out. No matter the price. Nobiscum Deus. We get more stability, we lose a lot uh, of leftist support, which is nice. And then we can make ourselves even more prominent here soon. And we're doing that already, which is nice. Let's grab some more artillery, because I love artillery. Oh, we got a lot of PP. Look at that. Can we go to... Oh, we're going straight to war economy, everybody. Nice. Up next, we will probably go here and choose Teodor Velbs, because we like land doctrine. Or, and, um, daily army XP. But then, radio is very good as well. Uh, let's go with this one. I'm not, we don't have any tanks. Oh, we have, a, like, cavalry, so superior firepower is probably the way to go. Entrench a Hugenberg press. Dissenting opinions are a plague on Prussian lands. Sure, our free media keeps the world happy, but our Prussia is better off happy with the support of media. Just don't ask questions. The 78th Army declared war on the Western officers. War in Damascus. Jesus Christ. What has happened over here? Enver Pasha. Who the JFC Fuller, the modern equis whole What? Weekly stability plus five percent. The foreign general. Jesus. I've gotta play this group. That looks really cool. Operation Lydia and Galatia. Loyalty to the crown. That looks very cool. I like that a lot. Holy crap. Um, we might need some field hospitals, so we'll get those for now. We'll see, maybe. Oh, what are we even making? We got enough artillery, which is pretty nice. And we need like some of you guys need that, so Purge Red Menace, followed up with um, Entrance to Hugenberg Press, of course. And then Outmaneuvering Goring, that's not bad. A new constitution. Um, let's get that one first. It's a 70 day focus. Wow, that takes a long time. The ideals we adhere to are now long since archaic. They have to be reworked, and there's no doubt about that. How can we do this stuff? Okay, so probably once we finish all this stuff down here, there's a lot down here. Heil der Emsigerkranz. Oh, you are declared. Look at that. Our path to Palestine would not be covered with the red carpet or with the yellow sand. It would be covered with blood. The Arab nation must unite. To Cairo. Dan Moody. Whoa. Huh. Wait, what are the Confederates here? That was a long song. I apologize if you couldn't hear that, because it might have been copyrighted, but it is what it is, so. Uh, I'm going for Goring. Goring is a lunatic and should be kept away far from any seat of power with some political leverage. We can carry our plans out and keep Europe stable. So I guess America collapsed. There was a Confederate state here, but I guess it turned into New Africa and the Invisible Empire. And Louisiana is independent. I never understood that. Like, yeah, we have long here, which is cool, but like, how much is there support for independence from, for Louisiana? Like, I know Texas is just like, you know, it's got its independence boner, but like, Louisiana? James Rolfe Jr., the CTA, probably Cascadian, yeah, Transitional Authority. The Rocky Mountain uh, or Federal Command uh, by Graves. All right. Anything else? Now let's grab some of those too. So I'm moving just very quickly through this. So just pretty normal stuff that we normally see. There you go. Midwestern Federation, which I don't think I really like this one. Harold Strassen. There's the Great Lakes Union. Arnold Peterson. Transformers. 
Because if you call yourself Great Lakes, you don't have all the Great Lakes. You need Wisconsin for that. You really do need Wisconsin on the Upper Peninsula. It doesn't make any sense why they wouldn't have and call themselves the Great Lakes Union. I get that they don't have no other reason why to call themselves, but still. Oh, we're still the Hollandsalders. A squabble of politics and the division it brings will help destroy Prussia from the inside out. Only by forging ties with the royal houses will Prussia live on and stand strong in the changed Europe. Whoa. Oh, we actually can bring that monarchy. Okay. But seriously, like, Wisconsin it has a lot of coasts with, uh, like, was it Michigan up here, right? So... Yeah, I can understand this. They're still touching this, but still. Who's eating the these guys? Pershing. Okay. Oh, and you have a puppet of ah the the command over there in the west. That makes sense. I hate this. I hate this so much. Why does Mexico want New Mexico? You don't deserve New Mexico. We bought it off you. Go back home. Canada's okay. They're like ah, oh, America collapsed. Whatever. Whatever. Who cares? All right. So after we restore the Hohenzollerns, then we can codify the fear of Prince. I hate the Prussian farmer. I like that. Supply consumption goes down. Work with the industrialists. Let's do that one too first. Attempts of bolstering our industry are marred by the wishes and wants of local industrialists. Prussian industrialization will be a smoother process if we work with them rather than against them. And we're done trying to outmaneuver Goring. 15 is not bad. Keep getting more PP. We do have four army XP as well, which is very nice. A solid constitution. Nothing like a good socialist purge, my friends, right? Nothing like it. Actually, our divisions, what are they? They're... They're okay. They have artillery, they have engineers. That's pretty much what I kind of expect for every single one. Um, uh, that's not bad. Work with industrialists. You get some more fa Okay, we the thirds here. Nice. Expand. Ooh. Ooh, baby. I like that. Crush these unions. I like that, too. A traditional... Ooh, another research slot. There's so much I want to get here. I want to get these guys... That's four more civvies, and then two more millers in which we could produce stuff. But... Stability would be nice. We don't need any more, so... Hey, the Prussian farmer. The farmer's the backbone of our nation. That'll never change. If the farmers are satisfied, Prussia is satisfied. Industrial concerns. Go with industrial one. That's fine for now. You know what? I'm kind of okay with these focuses, because they're so short. And this... Or... They're, they're moderate. I'll call them moderate. But, like, the mod moves so fast that... I'm kind of okay with it. The Ukrainian Republic. Crimea. R Romania's dead. Transylvania exists. Electoral... Lictorial Prefecture of L Libya. Ah! Oh, well, look at this guy. Successful pacification. Italy's fourth shore. Wow. That's not bad. Al-Qaeda. Qaeda. They do... Oh my gosh, they do have unique focus tree. That's really cool. Nice. Ah, oh, light tanks. I don't know if we'll actually make any, but we'll see what happens. Ah, uh, the Prussian farmer. Nothing like it. We'll go with light aircraft because we like that. And do we have any... Yeah, we do. Hey, well, that's not bad. Especially with such a, such a small little Prussia. Just tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. And Friedrich Wilhelm III is there, which is very looking very nice. Oh, we're going Mecklenburg. Lead to war with the NGPU and the annexation of Mecklenburg. Well, let's keep going for now. Let's codify the Führer Prinzip, right? The public are idiots, so that much we know. Should we arrange our ideals into a more simplified code, we might just get it into their heads. All right, so we could award these guys eventually. Um, I want I want to do the traditional curriculum first, though, because we need that extra research slot. Acceptance of our work will be bolstered when we start teaching that a superior way. To keep us in power, we must start spreading our truths as soon as possible. Our truths, yes. Um, land doctrine's coming along. This is looking okay as well. Thirty-seven. Anything there? Not too much. I don't think we'll really need the navy too much either. Let's go for a radar because you can. Why not? And we're doing quite well. We're training, 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 training. We're getting more civvies and millies now, finally. Which is very, very good. 78th Army was crushed. That's sad. And we need more motorized, cast, anti-air tanks. And then we'll throw more stuff for infantry equipment. Because we have 23 divisions, which, are, which is pretty good. A traditional curriculum. Alright, so now we're going to jump up here, too. Stir up Mecklenburg. This focus will lead to war with these guys and annexation of Mecklenburg. Is, is there a problem with that? Do you have a problem with me trying to go to war with Mecklenburg? They're almost done there. Yeah, cool. Very cool. There you go. All right, Western officers. So be it. So be it. And now let's go do some material designers. Go with small arms. Nice. 15-3. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. 2,000 guns gone, which sucks, but well. Oh, well. You know what's good? Go, go to three. We need three now. Um, just keep training for now. That's fine. Actually, these these guys... Oh, they're... they're oh, my gosh. That's not, that's not good. Um... I don't mind duplicating this to get some actual 7-2s here. I would like to see our horses using more artillery, though, so... 
At the very least, give them some of this so they actually have some staying power. A traditional's curriculum and start Mecklenburg. Let's see what happens. What is this? And Saxony. We just go to war with them. Taking over Mecklenburg. To take over Mecklenburg, a small kingdom that borders the NGU. We will fund the workers and protesters there to intervene into their already existing crisis with the aim of taking them over. Nice. Happy 1938, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. We should be able to do really well here, right? Right? And Saxony? I'd love to end Saxony, but there's nothing there. Increase the military budget. We lose political power. Oh. Intervention in Mecklenburg. The communists in Mecklenburg have started a war. We must intervene in order to beat the communists. Go! Huh. Wait, we declare war on the West Deutsche Arbeiterstadt, and we just annex Mecklenburg. Okay. Um. Oh, it's over there. Well, crap. I guess we're gonna go in. We lost Magdeburg, but whatever. The Poles rush in. Oh! We're benefiting from the Mecklenburg crisis, the Poles have moved into certain areas of Prussia. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Hold for now, hold for now. Get some light tanks going. Um, I was not expecting that. Things are moving so fast here. Let him attack us. Let him attack us. Wow, these guys are very strong. Holy fat daddy sackers. Oh, they do have... Oh, they have tanks too. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so maybe we went to war with these guys a little bit too early. Austria is doing stuff too now. Expand state industry. Damaged by the events of the Great War, we must seek to improve our industry and heal it from the ravages of war. Yeah, maybe I did this a little bit too early, yeah. Um, yeah at this point, let's go do this too. Get some more guns in here. That'd be nice. And cavalry divisions. You're gonna need some of this. Ooh. Actually, how much support equipment do we have? We have a little bit. We can throw them on here too. That'd be nice. Get some more entrenchment. That'd be nice. Yeah, these guys, these guys are literally no joke. Uh, if you need a retreat, that's fine. Delayed auction is good. Um, mobile for defense, because we can. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about attacking, just hang out and hold. Seriously, don't, don't attack. Get those engineers in, and hold the line. Holy crap, we've lost a lot. They've lost more than us, but still. If you need a retreat, that's fine. It's over river, I understand. Just get entrenched. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's not good. I. Okay, do they have infinite manpower or something? Oh, look at this guy. This is what this is what I was talking about. Gerbils here. Uh, they, oh, they have so much manpower. They're on extensive conscription too. Honestly, you hold. You hold until you die. Both of you hold until you die. I don't care. I I literally don't care. Actually, we only have fighters here, which is obviously not good enough, but still. Do we have any other planes? I don't think we do. No, we don't. That sucks. Expand state industry, so we'll get some more stuff. Um, we could do that. That would be okay, but not great. Support rural culture. Since industrialism spread throughout the former Germany, the Germanic rural populace has been almost crushed underfoot. Their houses are workhouses, and they're nothing more than workers. Alright, not going great for us, but I probably do this a little bit too early, but whatever. Oh, we can integrate them. Oh, that's, that's actually probably really good. That gives us more defense on this area, too, so... And anything else here? Um, not really, no. Had a government, I guess, tank armor. Because we can, I guess. Now, they should be racking up way more casualties here, right? They have to be. We're way more entrenched now, right? We, what, lost 50,000 versus 120,000? I mean, they have the Rhine, which I get, you know, has a lot of, you know, industry and such, but still. Anyone have upgrades, actually? No? How do you not have upgrades yet? You, you are literally not allowed to lose that, son. Well, they're losing their tanks, which is good to see. <sighs> Keep learning, Kamal's... Okay. House United. Procession Army. If we want to return Germany to its former glory, we must restore the glorious Prussian army, which wants to unify Germany to form more strength and discipline. Nice. Nice. 
Nice. Army maneuvers. During this focus, we get the following effects. All right, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. That's actually very good. Daily division experience gain. Um. The number of professional soldiers in our army is very low. In order to recruit more professional soldiers, we must do freaking military exercises and hard training our soldiers. It's not a bad thing to do when we're in the middle of a war. So, um, it's a little bit ahead of time. What else are we gonna do? Better engineers. We can probably grab that. Probably be okay doing that. There you go. Get two. All right, so we've lost about 100,000. We killed off a quarter million, which is, overall, that's really not bad. That's actually not too bad. Do we core this yet? Probably we did. Okay, so it looks like for the most part, not 100%, but for the most part, we can actually hold the line against these guys now. Somewhat. Somewhat. You can take that, but I'll take this back. I mean, we're out of equipment too, don't get me wrong, but still. Oh, are you kidding me, man? Did we actually lose here? Oh, that sucks. Alright, so now we're beating them back, which is good. Let's see, expand the reserves. Reading the war economy. This focus will unlock the war economy decisions. These decisions will ensure the readiness of the war industry for any future war. New ways of warfare. Not bad, not bad. Study the past. I like that too. Let's do that one. If we want to go forward without making mistakes, we must go back to the past and learn from our mistakes. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Computer machines, very good. Awesome, awesome. Um, it's a little bit ahead of time. We could probably go and do this one. We need more output. We need way more guns. We're out of 11,000 guns, which is insane. Template 2, though. Oh, we already have some of that. Nice. Remove that and add this one instead. 27.2s are not bad. Anti air. Uh, replace that. There you go. We'll do both, because we can. They're attacking us, and we're attacking them, so, I mean, we got to give it one way or another. Get a little bit more strength, get a little more organization before we throw them back in. There you go. And we can grab some of this. Naval ship designers, because why not? Look at that. I think that at this point, they're just too weak. They really can't push us that hard. Nice. That's good over here. I know it's over river, but we can still do probably pretty darn well, right? All this opening is up over here. Alright, you can try to beat us up, study the past. Followed up with new military curriculum. Before opening military academies, it's imperative to introduce a new military training curriculum. We need a military training curriculum that will train young officers in the best way to revive the old Prussian discipline. Yes, please. Better radar is nice. Let's grab some of this too, because we're going to grab this ahead of time anyways, because we can, because why not? Very nice, very nice. We lost 125,000 versus half a million. I definitely want to play as Daddy, Daddy Goebbels over here, so. Look at the sunglasses, looking so cool. Oh. Look at that. Unser Kampf. Nothing like Unser Kampf, right? You, me, and Unser Kampf. Best literature, best German literature ever published. Changed my mind. <laughs> I swear to God, yeah, they, they're out of equipment. They have to be now, right? They're running out of manpower. Stockpile, they got motorized and a few strategic bombers, that's it. Send them back over the river, man. Follow up with, establish new military academies. Besides professional soldiers, professional officers need to be led professional soldiers. Are needed to lead them. So opening up new military schools is not just a bad idea at all. Why not? Because we can. For our health. They're literally doing like the last stand or something there for a while. Like, holy crap. I thought we were going to, I'm going to, have to I would have to restart this, uh, you know, episode and such, but it doesn't look like we really need to yet. After that one, reading the war economy, uh, the Navy can kind of wait for now. Um, I don't want to do that one yet. I want to crush socialist unions. The communists are as much akin to the hi mythical Hydra. Cutting off one head and another comes back. With socialist unions forming all over Prussia. We must seek to crush every traitor back in the new unions underfoot. Unless we wait too long and rebellion is stirred. Better consumer goods and more factory outputs. Sign us up. Yes, please. Nice. Alright, not bad. Yeah, they are... I want to say screwed, but not really. They're not really that screwed. Because we're out of guns and artillery pieces too, but still. Nice. This will just help us push us out through here. I would like to push through here, though. So give me half of you guys. 
You go here and go there. Or you guys go here and then there. But then like half you guys also go right there. There you go. Come on, they've already killed themselves off so hard already, so. Only two thirds of a million of them have died. Not enough, of course. Engineers are nice. Uh, grab some. You know what? Let's grab some recon. How much support equipment do we have? We have not enough. Okay. But we'll, we'll work on it. Nice. Uh, hold for now. It's fine. Let him move around. Now let's go in. Mobile defense is good. 404, army XP not found. And great support is very good as well. Crush socialist unions. Crush and corporatism. If corporate entities are given more leverage in political affairs, this can only serve to easily placate them and help maintain the process of Prussian reindustrialization. Oh, come on, man. They're just throwing more bodies in here. Are they throwing... Are they removing anywhere else? I mean, they're, they're doing pretty darn well with their, you know, soldiers. We can't really attack them there. Yeah, which sucks. Grab some of that. Happy 1939, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. We'll see what happens for us, of course. Alright, let's see what happens. These guys are very experienced already. This is very good. Construction, construction. You know, might want to try to bait them into attacking us a little bit more if possible. Prussian corporatism. Followed up with Prussian national youth. The youth are easily influenced. Despite our best efforts, socialists may poison them with immoral ideas. We must work against that and bolster national pride in the young for the betterment of Prussia. I really want to attack here. Can we... Can we actually attack here instead, maybe? Yes. Go straight on up and through. If you possibly can. We're going to circle these three divisions, which would be great. How are you losing down here? You guys suck, man. Get better. Force it. Seriously, force it. You should be able to bust through these guys. You really, 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 really should be able to. Wow, this is dumb. That's incredibly, terribly awful. You either go there or you go there. I don't care. Either one of you guys win. One of you guys has got to win here. So stop telling me you can't win. I know these guys can win. Stupid soldiers. Increase military budget. In a change Europe, we must reconsider our priorities when it comes to war and national defense. Military investments will pay dividends when Europe winds up going to war again. And we can stay on top of the conflict. Recon 2 is nice. Get some better artillery. Thank you. Come on. Okay, we got them. Finally, thank God we got them. You're not going to attack us here. We're going to immediately kill you off. Go up that way. Get all the longer there, too. Good, they're attacking us. Look at that. Nice. But we lose here. How? I guess these horses are just very quite bad, but still. Still. But still. Now they're going to starve. Just keep killing. You'll be golden. Yeah, look at that. I mean, how can they defend against us? What? Yeah, their, their cavalry are like 10 combo with like ours. That's it. Not much else. Not much else. And go up there. And go up there. I guess we got a lot of out of supply stuff. Alright, let's grab some regiment combat teams. And anything else? He's a ranger, that's good. Improvisation expert, because why not? Alright, so they've killed off. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, that's so many dead Germans, man. So many dead Germans. Now does we might just do a general attack. Look how weak they are. Just go ahead. Go, go, go. Force the attack. Force it. Over river if you need to. Alright, not bad. And get some better tanks, because you can. Look at that. Look how bad that is. Good. Increase military budget, order, and discipline. Our current military forces are corrupt, lazy, and ineffectual. With heavy reform, we can negate this and begin developing a more powerful Prussian fighting force. Better artillery. Um, we already got a lot of the good stuff here. Let's grab some of this too. Military equipment. Awesome, awesome. Um, better radar, I guess? Maybe? They're definitely doing... They gotta be doing last stand or something here, man. This is dumb. We've lost 200,000. Quarter million versus one million. It's not bad. Could be better, though. Could be way, 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 way better. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. 
I wonder if they have any boss or debuffs here. Like for natural spirits, like defensive core territory or anything like that. Ideological crisis, no, 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 no. That, wow. Blood and soil is very strong. Uh, no, they don't. No, but they, they, they do have more attack, 15%. Oh, that's really nice. New Deutsche Army. But they don't get anything else on defense. Keep going, keep going. It's a very bloody affair, but it is what it is. We've only killed off a million of them. Nice, we got him. I really thought that we wouldn't be able to do anything there. Like, I thought this would be really bad for us, but... As you can tell, not too shabby. Order discipline. Well, let's come back up here and see if we can do anything else. And Saxony. We just go to war with Saxony. No, no questions asked. Well, time to put down some Saxons. Do we get cores on this territory? Please tell me we get cores on this eventually. We really need cores here. Yay! Integrating. Yes, look at that. Oh, we lose weekly stability and war support. Nice. Alright, and we'll go to war very soon. Follow it up with Strike the Poles. Uh, we'll go to war with Poland. Okay, that's it. I'm probably going to sacrifice this little piece of territory and just do a general attack this way, maybe. Um, they have a lot of divisions, though, so we'll see. But let's go ahead and do engage or embrace the military industrial complex. A council of Prussian weaponsmiths have came forward with the development of Prussia's military industrial complex. If we placate them, good things are soon to come. Pretty nice. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I was going to grab that one. Why not? Not bad. These guys are much easier than, than Goebbels' troops. Oh, Goebbels are so tough. I wonder, were they Raider Convoys? They probably would Raider Convoys. Yay! And let's grab some of this too. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to do this. I'll take you guys out. Oscar von Hindenburg, good luck. You're 100% going to need it. And there we go too. Heinz Guderian, sure, why not? Almost 1940. Let's grab some of that as well. These horses, though. At the very least, make them 20 combat width. So they can stay engaged. Give them some of that. Give them some of uh, this. Grab some of that, too. There you go. You guys are okay. Yeah. You guys will be the military police. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty darn good. Wow, look at this. Tons of artillery, great. Tons of guns, I love it. Nice. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's see if we can take out the poles next. We get some strap bombers. Nice. Um, since it's already this year, let's grab some more soft attack as we can. Maybe we'll get some more cast and such. Oh, we still have even more millies. Okay, cool. Get, get, uh, got another five of that one. Get some more of this and get some more of these guys. I think that'd be worth it. Yeah, look at, we can't make any of this stuff because we have no, like, naval XP, which sucks, but whatever. Oh, yes. Turingen, Saxon, yes, yes, yes. What are we building? Roads? That's nice and all, but get some more of that stuff going. There you go. Not great, but we'll deal with it. That's not bad. Alright, so since we're here anyways, we got enough naval... Uh, enough... Blah, 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 blah. Army XP! Why can't I speak? Now to go, go big or go home for some of these bad boys. Nice. There you go. Good. Good. Um, there you go. Because in the end, we got to take out the French as well, so we'll see. Alright, and then strike the poles! And after we get some poles, General Plan Ost. Oh, so one of these following must have to be true. We have to be revolutionary. National Socialist. No, Revolutionary Nationalist, not National Socialism. That's another fun ideology. But I guess we'll have to consolidate the new state then eventually. Occupation of Poland, that's kind of cool. So then we'll probably end this with the next episode, but we'll do Heil der im Sieger Kranz. It has never been out of the question that we are a powerful nation, but it now fa falls to us to recognize our imperial ambitions and take what is rightfully ours. We get Oh, we actually get weekly stability, that's kind of cool. Even though we're maxed out already, which is fine, but still. Um, nice. Weekly war spread as well. 
Oh, they're actually attacking us here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, you might want to back up. Can you guys actually win here, maybe? Yeah, you can, actually. I just don't want to get encircled. That's that's my biggest thing. Retreat, retreat. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's fine for now. This is all bait tactics. All bait. Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. You want, might want to get out of there. Uh, we could probably get that one, too, if we really wanted to. How's the front doing? It's doing relatively okay, actually. Now that, Oh, this is glitched now. God dang it. It's not perfect, but it, it's so much better than what was earlier. Holy crap. That earlier, I was worried. I thought I had to reload. How strong are the poles? Not that strong. It's 33 divisions, not bad. We got a lot of PP, too. Gdansk. I can't imagine them keeping this up. Screw it. You're all going to be comforted with now. Go, go, go. I mean, they can try to stop us, but there's no way they can, like, at this point. Force the attack. Let's go. Let's go, son. There's no way the Poles can hold out for much longer. They're just getting drained of manpower. I mean, so are we, but still. We had to course some territory as well. Keep going, keep going. Warsaw will be ours. They stopped attacking here, huh? I don't care about how bad it looks. Ranger, nice. Good, good, good. Level 6 is awesome. We have Warsaw. Great. And Poland's dead. As it should be. Cool. Alright then. That didn't even last 70 days. Not bad. Now we need way more already. Holy cruddy daddies. Go down to 5 then. We need some more tungsten too. Sweden or British Burma? Why not? Cool. So I think I'm going to split this into two parts. I think tomorrow we'll end this. It won't be a super long video, I think. But like... We'll finish this off, and, uh, yeah. Let's consolidate the new state. Why not? And I might just go ahead and read about reviving the Prussian Navy. Centuries ago, our ancestors ignored naval forces and focused only on land forces. While our armies had many victories on land, they unfortunately suffered defeat after defeat at sea. It's necessary to learn from the mistakes of the past and build a navy that will make Prussia stronger. But hey, if you enjoyed the first episode of this small little short-ish campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, check out this mod itself, which, like I said earlier, will be the first link in the description below and i guess i will see you tomorrow with all this stuff when we will go to war with the french probably thanks for watching have a great rest of your day